In this video, we're going to cover installing Ghidra on a Windows 10 machine. So, first of all, go to the Ghidra website, which I've got on my desktop here at ghidra-sre.org. And then in the middle of the page there, you can see the download uh, button there, which will download a zip file for you, which I've already got on my desktop here. So once we've got that, let's right click on it. I've got seven zip installed, so I'm going to just do extract here. You can extract it to where, wherever you like on your device. I'm just going to extract it to the desktop for the sake of this demo. And that should just take a uh, second or so just to extract all the files. So now that's done, if I open up this folder, and um, we can see we've got this batch file here. Now this is how you run uh, the Ghidra software. So if I double click on that, that should launch the software. However, one issue you might find is what it says on my uh, CMD prompt here, Java runtime not found. Please refer to the Ghidra installation guide troubleshooting section. Press any key to continue. When I press any key, it just kills the uh, software. So what you need to do is install the well, install JDK Java Development Kit, I think it stands for. I'll include this link in the video description, um, but I've gone for JDK 11, and basically I've got it filtered here on Windows, and I've just downloaded this .msi file, which I've now got on my desktop. So if I double click that and run it, and then just click run. <clears throat> so we've now got the install prompt here, so let's click next, accept the terms, click next again, I'm just going to click next, and then install, and that should um, install this quite quickly for me. So there we can see that's done, so if I click the finish button now, and if we just open up, well I've got the folder open here, and if I now double double click uh, Ghidra Run, we can see now I've got the CMD prompt, but I've now got the Ghidra user agreements. So that's sorted the issue out for me. So if I click on I agree, we can see now the software is loading up. And we now have the tip of the day, which I'll just close. We have the Ghidra help file, which is loaded up, which is quite useful. And I'll just get rid of these um, off my desktop. And it's asking us now for a, um, a project, basically. So what we need to do is create a project. So I've got this um, piece of malware on my desktop here, this form book executable. So I'm just going to do file, new project. And you can have it as a shared or non-shared. I'm just going to go with non-shared. And just give it a project name. So I'll call this one form book. Click finish. And you can see now this folder has now been created. So what I can now do is drag executables into here. So there may be, maybe there's more than one sample uh, that I want to analyze. So I could drag all my different samples into this project. But for the time being, I've just got the one. So I'm just going to drag this across. And we can see that now being imported. It's telling me it's a portable, it's recognizing it as a portable executable file. It's 32 bits. Uh, and it's got the uh, destination and program names. So I can click OK on that. And that's now loading that and importing the file. This might just take a minute or so. So we can see here we've got some information regarding the file. So the name, when it was last modified. Uh, what else do we have? Anything of interest here? Again, it's you know the executable format. Uh, some hashes, so MD5 and SHA256. So let's click OK on that. And that file, executable, is now within our project. So to start analysing it, what we need to do is just drag this onto the little dragon icon here in the tool chest. And then that will then allow us to analyze the file within the code browser of Ghidra. The first point you'll get though is it says form.exe has not been analyzed. Would you like to analyze it now? So you need to click yes so that Ghidra can analyze the file and then allow us to begin our own analysis. So as I click yes, we have the analysis options here. The only one that I've been adding recently, like I said, I'm relatively new to using this tool, um, is this Windows PE Propagate External Parameters. So this is just like in 
x64 where in x64 debug where previously I've shown the x analyzer plugin and then that will just show the uh, parameters for Windows APIs uh, that have been pushed onto the stack. So I'm going to click analyze and then you can see in the bottom right hand corner we can see this loading bar and this um, like sand timer that's turning over and it's showing us there it's decompiling functions so it's going to run through all the functions and give us the assembly code within Ghidra. So we can see now that the analysis has completed and we've had this pop-up message saying um, that the PDB file is not available. Well, that's, you know, we wouldn't expect to see that anyway with the, with the malware sample. So let's just click OK on that. So we're now ready to start analyzing the malware sample in Ghidra. So in the next few videos, what we're going to do is just slowly uh, build up our knowledge and skill set of this tool. We'll go through the various windows and how to start analyzing a malware sample.